Hey guys, this is the Mask Man 666 and here's our status screen. Mario's level 1. He can walk or run. A to jump, talk or check with the exclamation point. B to use the hammer. Cleaning glasses. That's much better. Um whoops. Um up to display display status bar. Right to use items. And I'm not going on, I don't think. Nope. Not. I'm not going to show you what the others are yet. Um, this is our health. It's 8 out of 10. Our flower points. Um, badge points, which will be explained later. Boots. Hammer. Star energy. Which will also be explained later. Star points, coins, star pieces, and playtime. Which has been half an hour, roughly. Um, here's our items, our star spirits that we saved, and the map of where we are. So let's continue on. Oh yeah, they failed to mention you press Z, which is Y, instead of being Z. Oh wait, we're back. Oh, I'm like, this looks familiar. Uh, of course it looks familiar, because it is familiar. Wait, he just looked outside, where we're stupid enough to walk outside into nothingness. Okay, we're back safe and sound. Oh, look at his eyes. He's all happy that he nearly broke his back. Yay, we get item! Item get! Oh, well, you could say no. I have... Mm. You could say no, but there's no point. Um, because she gives you da -da -da -da, star peas. Yay! Did I miss any items? Yes. Oh wait, no. Nope, we didn't. Uh, the very nice, cool, and awesome item we get is at that stone hat, that stone block. Yes, listen to your elders, kids. Glasses, yeah. Um, exciting. Exercising every day, yeah. Very strong. Rock hard skull. <laughs> it is true. We're just rapping with Mario. The power jump badge. This is the badge. Mario stomped on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. I believe it does like six damage. But it takes up flower points. That's what flower points are. Our abilities that we have to equip by using... No, I don't want to know. I can explain it myself. No. No. Oh, well, I'm going way too fast. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I only half read after I beat in the game. Uh, like, one game. I only half read the text. I have to remember to slow down. Um, we already failed. Evil times are upon us! Mm, I guess I agree. What if I disagree? What if I say, no, you cannot come? What if, no, you cannot come. Okay, you press down to use party's abilities. Down C. Uh, this is how you title. I probably won't because I have the guide right here and has all the enemy bios in the back somewhere. It does, doesn't it? 
Yeah, it does. Okay. So now, equipping of the badge. My, I only, okay, press down and Goombario will tell you about the place. Do it near a person and he'll tell you, he'll tell you about the person. Um, now to equip badges, you can press the right C to change party members. To equip badges, you have to go to the start menu. By pressing start, go to badges, all badges, and then power jump. You see the badge points down there? Um, when you, badge points you need one, so when you equip this, you lose a badge point. Now I only have two left available. So you only can equip X amount of, um, stuff at one time. You do, you can level it up when you level up. Um, but I believe this is free. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is free, so we'll just take it. <laughs> tired. Mm, I yeah I slept well. Okay, let's go. Now that we have another power member, we should um battle should take um a lot less time. Oh hello. Yeah, the fence doesn't look that bad. You know the gate looks together. You just have to put it back up. Well, of course you know how hard it is to. Um, pick up a piece of paper. Huh. Beware of Goombas. Ah! Oh, I failed to do a perfect strike. Um. Yes, the Which I'm pretty sure is L, but. Yeah, it's L. Um, abilities. Now there's Tattle and Headbonk. Headbonk is an attack just like Mario's Jump. It does the same amount of damage as well. Um. Tattle sees the enemy's description make the HP visible. <laughs> That's right, you're a Goomba. You're the weakest party member I'll ever get. Now defense power. That's how much damage they can block a turn. Now every single time we see a Goomba, it's always going to have the HP displayed. Now the power bounce. Oh, it does three right now, but I think it does six later. And it's dead and we get a single coin. How many coins do we have? Lag. Um, 30 coins already. Um, oh, I should pay attention now, shouldn't I? Uh, I'll just do a normal jump. Show off Goombario's head bonk. It's nothing special. Until later. I really hate how this game scripting this was set up. But I guess if it was set up like the second game, then you'd be able to beat Bowser a lot easier. Like, be able to actually beat Bowser. Okay, um, Mushroom. They, wait, wasn't there a Mushroom I could have gotten before that I never got? There was, in the tree back there. I'm never going to get it, so don't ask. Um, Mushroom TL5 HP, they're used in battle. They're fairly useful. Well, now. You know, they get kind of useless later. But that's later, so... Uh, it's all pretty much scripted, just clicking buttons, no action commands. You do get something that lets you do action commands later. But of course, that is later. That's why I've been referring to, as in, we'll get pow more powerful later and stuff like that. You also get hammer and boots upgrades, which will increase your power. Hmm, I want to hammer that tree. Now, here are some items. Um, I'm pretty sure... Isn't there something around... Here. No, there's not. Now you can actually hammer these guys if they come down low enough. Like that. And I might as well hammer them again. Hammer! Head bomb. Oh, wait. Oh! Darn it. I completely forgot to tattle them. And you can't do it now, because now they're technically real, normal Goombas. 
not Paragoombas. Oh, look at that, I'm out of time. Um, there should be a save point. Ah. No, there's not a save point. So, there's a mini boss next, though. But I'm out of time, so I will. This has been the Masked Man 666, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.